，一二三 ，Two Three Four Five Six Seven Eight Nine。Eleven. Hey, what are you two idiots looking at? It's like you haven't seen someone doing push-ups for a while. And by the way, it's time for one-on-one -on -one with the brutal one, Rolando Alejandro Samora. That's me. And my guest tonight, Carlito Benaventura. Rock and roll. <laughs> that was a good punch. You shouldn't thank him. So what? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I say it doesn't matter. Okay, camera man, you better look at this. The show's guest today will be wrestling fan and fitness buff as of late, Mr. Carlito Benaventura. All right, camera man. Hmm. This is the Brutal One, Rolando Alejandro Samora, live from the main base, the Baguio. Did I say live? <laughs> you know already this uh, recorded stuff. Anyway, over there on the video over is Mr. Carlito Buenaventura. Yeah, Carlito Buenaventura. Hello. Name. Anyway, kumusta ka na at taga saan ka as of now? Uh, sa Quezon City lang, dito sa may maginawa. Okay naman, buhay pa. Maginawa! It reminds me na malapit sa most matalino. Or the fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Musta yung din. situation ninyo doon? Musta? Okay lang. Wala naman coronavirus dito. Pero sa banda lang most malapit. Marami doon kasi may heart center. <laughs> Totoo nga. Well, anyway, so... What you been up to lately? Comrade Carly too? Well, I've been in the house for three months. I've only left twice. <laughs> so I've just been training, just training and training. Yes, the boot fitness, but we're gonna go to that subject later on. So, on to the first question I'm gonna ask you. How long have you been in a professional wrestling plan and how do you got yourself into it? Um, as far back as I can remember, I started around 1990 or 1991 yung yung WWF sa IDC13 uh, ILX TV13 actually remember ILX yeah. TV13 <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> mami ako memories doon sa nila. channel na yan during yung name oh, yan. Oh. let me see yeah, we get the world one watcher pag sa cartoons okay as si yeah. Denver the last dinosaur last Wag na pa naman na ata yan, no? O kahit sa YouTube, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naalala ko pa nga, like, after WWF nun, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, eh. Yo, so, naalala ko pa yan. Lupit. So, yeah. yung sa That's part ng ano, page ng WWE, I mean, WWF na yan, sino naabutan mo doon? Well, yung mga pinakauna ko naalala, I remember being afraid of earthquake. <laughs> Kasi pinipisahan nyo lahat ng tao eh. Earthquake, oh. Hogan. Yes, ho Hogan. Earthquake, yes. Hogan. Naalala ko pa yan. I think nangyari na yata yun sa SummerSlam, di ba? Hindi ako nakakamali. Yeah. Nakakamali. Yeah, sa yeah. WWE, WWE title match yata yan eh. Actually, may panimbano siya pang apat na ano, the list of uh, the match from the Hawkster. Always believe in yourself. True, true. Sobrang saya ko nga eh, the other day, nag-greet me si Hulk Hogan ng picture ko sa, na sinend ko sa kanya eh. <laughs> so, ah, for you. Parang ano na yan eh. Talagang fan uh, ka sa mga legends, ha? Big times. Recently, yeah. nakita ko si Ken Shamrock, the world's most dangerous man and former WWE Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, yeah. At yung gusto kong champion, talagang panoodin yeah. yung laban ni The Rock at ano, si Ken Shamrock sa WrestleMania 14 to see how brutal it is. Supposed to be Ken yeah. Shamrock nanalo, diba? Pero, nagwala eh. Kaya na-reverse reverse yung decision ng referee. Eh, yeah. Lalo pa nagwala? Yeah. 
Alam mo naman. <laughs> pero yung ikinatutuwa ko kay Ken Shamrock, for the first time if ever, napanood ko yung laban niya versus The Undertaker way ba- uh, sa Backlash 1999 sa YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yan yung gusto kong panoodin kung saan abot ni Taker na kalabanan ng isang leg- legitimate na MMA fighter. Remember, The Undertaker mm-hmm. at 1999, wala pa siyang knowledge sa MMA, pero it would take a... Uh, Apparently, on 2003, na incorporate niya yata yung niya sa arsenal niya. And then, it will continue until yung the resurrection of the original Deadman persona at WrestleMania 20, way back in 2004 against Kane for the second time. And just like the first, rest in peace. Another WrestleMania big with 12 and 0. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of, aside from Hulk Hogan, alam mo nabot mo na si... Ooh, yeah! Macho Man, Randy Savage! Yeah. And then si... And then si... Ah, Ultimate Warrior! Ultimate Warrior, oh, God rest your si, soul. Si, ano, Rowdy Rowdy Piper, sa pa yan. And then, yeah, yeah, the Heart man. Foundation, if I'm not mistaken. Pero ito yung, mm-hmm. ano, yung memories ko regarding Hulk Hogan and Macho Man, Randy Savage. Their altercation on the back after this uh, so-called tag team match against the Twin Towers, si the late big boss man and Akin, the African Dream, originally known as, you know, a uh, one-man gang. Mm, one-man gang, siya yun, believe it or not. And then, naging, ano, naging isa pa siya pang mila siyang Afrikano, you know. Uh, yeah, Akin. Yeah, Akin, the African Dream. Yung yeah. manager niya si Slick. Lang ya. Yeah. Oh, si Slick. Oh, Reverend Slick. But it won't take long. Those two will be each other story. You know, si Akin or si Big Boss Man. Nagharap ata sila sa, ano, WrestleMania 6 yata. Kung hindi ako nakakamali. Uh, and then, yes. um Hogan Macho Man, WrestleMania 5. Hogan Ultimate Warrior, WrestleMania 6. Ewan ko kung may memories ako about Hogan and Sergeant Slaughter at WrestleMania 7. Mm-hmm. Pero, yan, no? ang pinaka malupit kong memory, as far as I concern, way back in grade 1 ako, or it's a grade 2, Undertaker Hulk Hogan, Survivor Series 1991. Yeah, at that time, yeah. medyo blurry yung memory ko, kasi matagal na yun at the time. And then, yung nakaroon na ako <laughs> ng BCD, <laughs> N- nakaroon na ng VCD na ano, copy ng Tombstone, The History of the Undertaker. Doon ko na yeah. na-watch yung laban na yan at masayang masaya ako, personally. Anyway, ako rin bro, ako rin. Now that we had rev- uh, kailan ka naging tigil pang nanonood ng ano, wrestling way back yung bata ka pa? Ano, ano? Kailan ka bigla na-stop mag-watch yung wrestling due to Bigla wala ka sa interest, just like I did just before. Um, nagkaroon ako ng, ah, halos pagkamatay ni Owen Hart. Medyo nagkaroon ako ng Dark Ages noon. Tapos bumalik ako noong Ruthless Aggression. Noong nag-start yung Raw. So, 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 chance na hindi mo nabot yung the remaining 1999 and then year 2000, right? Hmm. Um, medyo sporadic na after Owen Hart died. Uh, tapos, mm. yun ba, binalikan ko na lang nung nag uh, add ko na tao ng Ruthless Aggression area. Yes, the uh, Ruthless Aggression in 2002, officially. Kasi, yeah. after the Attitude Era, in between is a uh, invasion angle between the WWE versus WCW, ECW, Este, the Alliance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, pero hindi ko napanood yung mga yan kasi medyo... Um, wala ta- yung wala wala ata sa mga cable channels or something like that. Wala, wala, wala. Yung cable namin noon uh, is ano, Global Destiny and then naging Destiny Cable and we cannot end our subscription since well, we have something what we call as n- cable box of sorts. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not so sure you have one at your house. <laughs> yeah, there's a Digibox, parang ganun yung tawag. Mm. Okay, mm. Uh, speaking of witches, let's all begin in, since I revealed mo na yung, ano, yung story mo sa professional wrestling, diba? Uh, it would take many years na we would get to encounter something na 
Wow, para sa ating bago, pero it did happen before. Way maybe before you were even born. Anong year ka na sinilang? 85, sir. 1985 ka, edi 30 plus ka na. Oo. Oh. <laughs> 80s guy ka pa rin, whether you like it or not. Because I was born in 1983, a little bit earlier. Yeah. Pero marami ako mga na-encounter ng magagandang ala-ala during the old school era filled with childhood memories. Old school station items sa ABS-CBN, People's Television, 4, tapos GMA Radio Television Arts, RPN 9 The Leader, and then yes, uh, Life Begins at 13. That's the IBC 13. Napos ko yan, lahat. Old school. Ito yung mga old school na patalastas ng ano, kahit yung mga meron o wala, whatsoever. Yung favorite ko yung mga soap drinks ng wala sa... Already extinct na Cosmos Butlers Corporation. You know, makers of Sarsi, Pops Cola, Cheers, Among Others. Matagal na pe. You had to do a little research about Cosmos Butlers Corporation. Para malaman mo yung history. And it was owned by Chinese, uh, certain Chinese businessmen. Pero sayang, yung sumunod sa kanina pa ke. Not on the level of his management whatsoever. Yeah, ayun. Good. Nag-fail, uh... oo. Oo. Then, then, yung mga local naman tayo, diba? Meron tayong Coca-Cola butters, yung Coca-Cola, Sprite, tapos Royal True Orange, marami. Pwede ko pa nga yung, yep, yep, yep. yung patalastas na yung tagline na, ako at Royal Natural. Na, yeah. Makikita mo yun sa YouTube, maraming versions yan. Na, yung yung yeah. mga favorite ko, yung ano, yung sa classroom kung saan medyo mali ata yung Pagtapon na ng love letter, eh, nung, ah, hindi love letter, pang sort of uh, invitation letter, eh, numabot na ng oh, teacher. Nalala ka yun, nalala ka yun. And, big, big. Mm, basta maraming klase. Ah, yung mantika, yes. Na, actually, naspop ata ng Todas sa yun, kung hindi ako nakakamali. Speaking of Todas, where, yeah, we're talking about televisions are registry, delightful, all-star show. Actually, mapapanong mo sa YouTube. Mga 20 plus episodes yata. Mostly old school. Uh, umabot na 1988 and early 1989. Pero yung gusto ko talagang panoodin personally, yung episode yung mga tinodas na commercial. Actually, the one that they show on IBC 13 last year was their second one, if I'm not mistaken. Gusto ko talagang panoodin yung una nilang nagawa. Yung unang mga tinodas na commercials. That was way back in nasa 1988. Nasa YouTube ba? Oh, nasa YouTube yung, ano, yung second version. I mean, oh, second, I think it's ano, it's yung gusto ko talagang makita ba ng araw kung posible, yung mga tinodas na fairy tales. Ah. Oh, mga tinodas na fairy tales. What do you think? Tinodas na fairy tales? Wow. Mga tinodas That's... na fairy tales. Oh, meron sila sa YouTube yung mga... Ang mga tinodas na alamat. Ah. Oo, yung alamat ng typewriter, yung alamat ng champorado, yung alamat ng ballpen. Aha, aha, wow, yung wow. talagang masaklak talaga. Malalaman mo kung bakit. Kasi it has some to do yung Asian na ano, pang tawag na sanduguan, alam mo yun? Yeah, yung blood, yung bloodletting nila. Yung ginagawa nila po lapo. Panood mo yan, for Christ's sake. Ewan ka ba kung sino may kaya kapag naubusan ka ng dugo dahil sa dami mong mga signature ng mga ano, decree o mga agreement whatsoever. Ang weird. <laughs> Di na pwede yun ngayon. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. That's bad for your health. Trust me. Trust me. And then, yes. Are you into ano, Japanese Super Sentai stuff? You know? Not, yung, not, not really. Pero alam pero, mo, mga nakalagay dati. Al- ay, ay, you know already, Bioman, Massman, oh, oh, oh. Certified Man, mga ganun. Oh, Kahit Mass Rider of Black. Oh, oh. Di ko makakalimutan niya, grabe. I had such incredible memories for that. Anyway, we chit-chat of this topic, and then now let's proceed with the Philippine Pro Wrestling as a whole. So when do you learn about the existence of Philippine Wrestling Revolution? Mine's on 2015. What about yours? Uh, 20... I don't know, 2015. 
na kwento na sa akin ni Trian eh. For first time ko na panood 2016 sa Toycon. Kasi si Trian, classmate ko nung college. Oh, yeah. so ano, may association ko pala kay Trian. Trian oh, si Del Toro. Eh. I mean, <laughs> the man behind Trian Del Toro character. <laughs> Which is oh. explains why he had this t-shirt. t-shirt. Yeah, block me ko siya nung college. Halos mm. same yung course namin eh. Oh, uh, okay. Um, speaking of which, uh, yung first thing mo na panood um uh, sa Toycon? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. What well, about yung pinakaunang yung pinakaunang yung pinaka, yeah, yung pinakaunang show na panood mo? Pero yung legitimate na PWR show, ano yung mas ang um, ano, yung pinakaunang mo na panood? Medyo recent lang. Uh, nag-start ako every er, pinapanood ko na every show for starting last year lang. Ah, uh, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. but you had seen a lot of great characters in there, so ranging from yeah, yeah, the yeah. originals. Uh, see the Senorito Jake De Leon, one of them. See Chris Spencer, see Ken Warren. Uh, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, no, pa, see Main Max, the Apocalypse. Oh. Uh, among others who were still affiliated with PWR, which is also included in mga. Peter <laughs> And then, yes, may ilan na, no, na sa lipat na sa MWF. The most prominent would be Kanto Terror, who is now known as Kanto Kilabot Terror. That's for one. Yeah. For one. And, and, and yes, classical Brian Leo. You get the idea yeah. why. Favorite ko yun. But I don't know, we will chit-chat with us and stuff later on. Kasi, um, yung, yung unang, alam mo ba yung, yung unang PWR live? Napalabas nila to sa YouTube. Pero I personally uh-huh. went there. But wow. then, hmm, after I learned that after, there they had already four shows at Sobra I'm curious. Maganda ba palabas to? I always thought that to myself. So I give it a try and then went on to Manila Cinema Square Arena for the first time oh. ever. And the PWR live show, uh, the first one, excellent. Uh, I did have a uh, Photographic sessions with some of the stars in there, including CBL as well. And Mayhem Branigan, yeah, 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 pero mong one time ata yan. One time na only <laughs> one picture kay Mayhem Branigan, believe it or not. And then, yung PW, kasagsagan ng PW Renaissance 2015. Uh, sabihin natin na late ako dumating doon. Yung nakakabitin yung namiss ko yung match ni na, ano, Bombay Suarez at si John Sebastian. So, yung no oh. score match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to see I mean, that one day if the WR would, well, cast, uh, put aside something unnecessary and then do the stuff like that for the sake of the fans, you know? Parang nostalgic kung sabihin natin. Although, yeah, yeah. it just happened mga less than five years ago, so I'm not mistaken about it. Mm, let me see. Um, you discover an OPW, right? Now, let's go to MWF, Manila Wrestling Federation. So, what are your thoughts on their existence during year zero? Have you ever watched their show in 2017? Wala, wala. I started MWF last year then, pero lahat ng kaya ko mapanood, pinapanood ko. Mmm, impressive, impressive. Very, you can tell the difference between PWR and MWF, right? Pagdating sa... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, you will, uh, why not uh, say to the... I think yung MWF. Hmm? Parang mas theatrical. Ah, yes. That's the whole difference. Kasi PW is more display on wrestling skills and stuff and interesting storylines there. Pagdating yeah. sa yeah. MW, eh, similar to sa PW, but they're more a little bit theatrical. As in, oh. as ano, bilang ano, kapag subaybay, uh, witness them some of the shows anyway. Way back in 2017, I attended completely. 2018, I missed some, but... I have some of my favorites there during they went to their next uh, pace sa ano uh, Philippine ano uh, uh, University of the Philippines yes yes that's the one UP right yeah UP by ng alumni mm, yun 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 have you been in there forever <laughs> right yeah mm. I have memories there by ng alumni na tear gas kami dun ng slap shock concert huh? <laughs> tell me tell oh, me tell but- me what happened? Um, to launch yun ng head trip album ng Slap Shock. Tapos nag riot yung mga tao, binasag yung salamin ng bahay ng alumni. So tinawag nila yung police. So yun, binaril kami ng tear gas. 
and that tear gas experience kahit hindi ka sangkot, napaka brutal, right? Yeah, ta- talagang ma- maluluha ka parang sibuyas yung, yung tear gas. Hindi yung sibuyas, pero pinapahiyak ka talaga eh. Like, they, they, just, they, they just shot us. Bago pa lang nyo yung She's Awakened tsaka Get Away, eh, ng Slap Shop. Album launch nila nun. Pero natuloy ba? After this incident, so hindi na? After that, di na yata sila nag-metal concert sa bahay ng alumni, eh. <laughs> ah, ayun ko ba kung bakit nag-riot yung mga jalote na yan? Sus Mario, Sep. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yung yung glass doors ng bahay ng alumni, binasag. Kaya tinawag yung cops, eh. Yung ginawa yung gagi. Nice, eh? nice. And that was ano, mga over a decade ago, right? Yeah. I don't know, the, the crowd back then, they were like really crazy. I remember P.O.D. You remember P.O.D.? Ah, oh, P.O.D. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. They had a gig here in Le Pavilion in Blue Wave. Huh? Binasag rin ng mga tao yung, yung salamin dun eh. Pero hindi naman kami na tear gas. Um... I think that was during Alive, tsaka Youth of the Nation, yung mga ganun. Crazy. Ewan ko ba kung music fans yan or what? Have you ever thought of that? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know too, man. Maybe they're just like really angry, repressed. <laughs> Some fans, I don't know if they're fans at all or what, whatsoever. Anyway, now, yeah. uh, let's go to this one. The short lip Art of War Wrestling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you heard about I, that? I've never about seen. That? Yeah, I've never seen a show. I wanted to, but I've never seen a show. Singles I think one of me. my singles hmm? to me. Because oh, there wow. other, you know, other priorities I'm doing, so I'm able to attend that one. But I never would have imagined that uh, it end up in controversy after, before, and after the show. Have yeah, you, yeah, I heard. I heard. Uh, have you tried to listen to the wrestling wrestling podcast years ago? No, 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 no. Uh, you're not much into the wrestling podcast, eh? Uh, no, I, I've never been a podcast person until until two years ago. Like, Joe Rogan lang. <laughs> mm, okay, I get that. Anyway, I there, yeah. we have some absolutely glorious times with the Philippine wrestling scene in here. We, or within the Philippine wrestling community of which we were part of it. Am I the correct? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However... Not all started in a perfect note. In particular, PWR. Uh, you heard uh-huh. stories about behind the scenes regarding yung, ano, yung this original group of PWR and these guys, the splinter group that would eventually we became the co-founders of Manila Wrestling Federation. I, yeah, heard, I, of that. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. I've Did you that. read it on the no use kina William Elvin Mansano regarding yung in, 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 ano, in question nina Martin Vicencio who is now in Brazil? Oh, no, I, did, I, did. I never would imagine na akala ko napaka-discipline yung mga yan pero may ilan medyo bata, bata pa lang eh nagiging egotistical na kung sabihin natin o kaya a little bit selfish pang may differences doon kahit isang vision but this isn't the first time it happens. Any company, it doesn't matter if wrestling or sports or business related. Talagang, it's more than just emotions running high. It's like you like to follow this envisionment that you you, you envision, diba? Pero yeah. not all were sharing your envision. Ganun. In terms of creative differences, yes. Um, how would you call it this way? Um, you know the original bookers in there. Um, see, si, I know Mike Shannon, or I si, say, yeah, 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 that one. And it has something to do with the man who infamously protected classical brand new. Because, well, then there are a lot of tons of stuff in there. Na uh, way back in 2018. Um, uh-huh. uh huh. Mm-hmm. Suppose maganda sana talaga yung takbo. Kaso nandoon eh. Kasi pagdating sa politics talaga, napaka painful. Kahit sa napaka na pa lang, eh, mayroon ka pa naman isang ano, tao na magiging famous talaga one day. Kaso, no, um, he, he was soon revealed by a certain Sony Go in his uh, podcast. He referred to this guy who used to wrestle PWR and then nag-MMA siya. 
And then, uh-huh. naalala ko yung famous na line. Ipamugmug ko sa'yo yung bayag. Bayag niya? Bayag ng ano? Bayag Whoa! Ng, you know, the, the man who portrayed Mayhem Brannigan under the name yeah, of yeah. Uh, Ice Rocks or Ice de Miyuga. But guess what? The Jelote lost a match. And his first MAA match sa pinaka, pinaka mababa na class. Not Natalia less siya. than... 15 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. 15 minutes, okay. Alright. How did Kung he lose? Nakakahiya. Meron kang ibubuga, pero ikaw naman yung palpa. Ano ba naman yan? Yeah, ano yeah. Ba naman yan? yeah I, I get it, I get it. That's sad. Tapos, um, you learn about the man behind the classical brand you had, right? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what's your opinion regarding... This um, infamous controversy that still persists to this day. I don't know, man. I I don't know the whole story, but for me, my opinion is I just wish they just make up. You know, why you up? Because the wag away away na ganon. Sa kasalob yun eh. Yeah, I know. Pero hindi lang yun. May recent controversies regarding alam mo na yung sexual harassment related. Have you learned of it recently? Even from some female wrestlers sa uh, Southeast Asian scene. And two of the most prominent sa PWR natin, si Nina at si Crystal. Have you read about yung stories nila? Narinig ko yung iba. Medyo, it's sad to hear, you know, yung harassment na ganyan. Uh, pati ako, nalulungkot, namawala yung smile ko. Pero, man, I just wish people treat other people better. Wala, I couldn't eh. agree. There sometimes you can be assholes if it may depends on any given situation kapag it depends on yung emotions natin but we had to understand there's some lines that we cannot yeah. or boundaries that we are not allowed to go too far. I'm no stranger yeah. to that. Kung sinasabi ko na I never been there before, that is a lie. I've been there. Sometimes I'm responsible or sometimes People started to make me fall into the trap by letting my fucking emotions get the best of me. Yeah, uh, that was yeah, like yeah. many, many, many years ago. But I vowed not to go too far in it because um, it's not about me moving on. It's that uh, some of the things na I want to put it in a coffin and put a cross on it. That's all. Yeah. Mm. Very it. Very it. Even you, you had your own <laughs> shit stuff in life, you know? Mm. Mm-hmm. And then, Definitely let's that. say... We're gonna add another topic about the COVID-19 stuff. So, it got you three months, three months in your house except twice ka umalis. So, do you like to tell us your story over that one? Um, alright, sure. Uh, when I found out about the coronavirus, I, I, well, like most people, at first I thought I could take it. But I started watching videos of people uh, dying from it on YouTube. And they were coughing like, 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 like it sounded like machine gun fire. Shit. And and I I I have a certain problem, a health problem. I I don't know if you know this. I have a a surgically repaired heart. Surgically. So I mean, na opera ka yeah. dito. Yeah. When, yeah. When did it happen? Um, when did it happen, man? Uh, I mean, bullshit. 2015, the, um, I, I I lifted something really heavy, like a 400 pound deadlift, and then I got really dizzy. So I went to the doctor, and I thought I was just like uh, I don't know, hungry or something. That was how I felt. And then they did a couple of tests on me, and then they saw a hole like this big, like a 10 cent coin or something in my heart. Ano reaction ng parents mo regarding yung discovery na yan? Well, I already lost my dad, so I'm only with my mom. Oh, your mom. What's um, her reaction? And even if you have siblings, of course. No, I I'm the only child. So Fuck, parehas tayo. Ma- mahirap yeah, ako only child. Pero yeah, alam ko na no, sobrang takot yung moms mo, no? Yeah, yeah. Pero you have to give in to surgery if you wanna exist. If you didn't take yeah. the surgery, we might not be able to do this show, you know, this episode. Yeah. They gave me like a few months to live, and then my health deteriorated. I couldn't climb stairs anymore. Before that, I could run really far, but after that, I couldn't climb stairs. I couldn't walk straight. So they had to, um, 
they gave me two options. Either I I get a um, piece of heart from uh, a dead pig, or <laughs> yeah, that was, that's a serious option. Uh, transplant from a pig's heart, or some some a, a new a new heart partly made out of titanium. Uh, there was a, an implant, kind of like a stent. So they they made that and they attached it to my to my heart. So now it's partly made out of metal. So yeah. Pero pre, pagkatapos yung ano, how many months it would take you to heal? Tagal, bro. I it took me like uh, two two years, two years to get to get my act together. So in those two years. Halos na sa bahay lang din ako. Kaya hindi ako na hindi na ako na hindi na ako nagulat dito sa lockdown kasi nasanay na ako. <laughs> But I know you have a decent job too, you know, at least as a means of income, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's good news. I work in a construction company. So, Pero can you work properly despite after the turbulences that you had with your heart? Well, at the fir- at first I I couldn't, but after a few months, after like six months I slowly got stronger and stronger. I I had to exercise a bit, and then I got better and better. Now I could uh, basically I'm I'm near normal now. But you cannot do deadlifts on. anymore, given uh, may limitations yung ano yung health mo by all means. Tama ba ako? Actually, I can now. I can. Um, But you have to do it carefully. You know what I mean by yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I I get you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, you. we're gonna call the end to the part one because sooner or later we're gonna do part two later and the continuation. It will be more fun than the usual. Anyway, the brother one and my guest here would say, we'll just hang on. We'll be right back after this short break. Okay. <laughs> 